If I, I got pay an you, idea. Okay, tell me. This is important. Yeah. Uh, for those of you out there who know something, contact Patrick, Bet David, at Valuetainment and blow the whistle. This is your single opportunity, that best opportunity that I've ever heard, because he will air it. Patrick at Valuetainment.com. Patrick, Patrick at Valuetainment.com. Mm-hmm. If you're a true whistleblower and you were one of the people that you worked there, okay, if you're saying that person exists, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. If you worked in a, you got proof, all of that, let's talk about it. Because mm-hmm. for me, here's what I asked yesterday. So we're doing a podcast prep meeting. And I asked the question, I said, how important is it for us to know this? What do you mean? How important is it as an American to know, listen, what the hell happened with 9-11? I'm asking an open-ended question from everybody in the room. You know what everybody said? We have to know what happened. Mm-hmm. We're Americans. We owe the truth. Yeah. You know, we deserve the truth. Okay, I agree. So, you know, I can, more and more and more you get deeper into this, the more and more you say, okay, this is pretty dark on what happened here. However, why haven't many whistleblowers come out? Why? You know, we lead the the world in whistleblowers. America, it's like a thing to be a whistleblower. Come out, oh, you're a whistleblower. As long as the right political side is going to defend you. So the only reason why somebody wouldn't come out on this is why. I can't think of any. It goes back to motive and why. I can't think of any. You know, you, 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 Red Sparrow, you're familiar with Red Sparrow, mm-hmm. right? Okay, what's Red Sparrow? Russian, uh, 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 you know, beautiful women oh. who would go and it was their, you know, secret intelligence where they would work and get powerful men to flip. How, right. do, you, how do you flip men? <clears throat> how, historically, it's the easiest way to flip men. How do you get information out of men? It's very simple, Okay. You got women. Compromise them and threat them. You got threaten them about some information about them that you can release and do something to the people they love the most. It's that simple. This is why a lot of times if you really want to recruit somebody that's going to be an agent or we hear in the movies you recruit somebody that's got no kids, no nothing. This is why people who go front lines that maybe work high, high, high level jobs, Delta, things like that, they would like you to be single with no kids and preferably not a lot of people you love. Makes it a lot easier. Because you're a little colder, you know, you're less easier to be compromised. I'm not convinced all those 50 people that worked or, you know, dozens of people that worked on that were not uncompromisable. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. Again, uh, purely odds, speculation. And odds. then how much, do, how much would it take to buy you? <clears throat> how much would it take to buy your conscience? A million dollars? Ten million dollars? Because for me, and Patrick is dead on here. Dead on. There's the human element, and then there's the technical element. You are all about the tele- technical element. Respect. The human element is telling me this don't add up because there's the before and there's the after. Hey, how would you like to make a million dollars? Dude, sign me up. I'm struggling. What can I do? Okay, great. We're going to need you to do this. All of you are going to act in unison. You're going to put the explosives. All right, this building, that building. All right, great. We're going to do this. All right, cool. Then this happens. This image of this happens. I'm sorry. I don't care how cold-hearted and alone you are. When you see the people that die, the people that are jumping off the buildings, that America is under attack, that like your conscience is going to eat at you. No amount of money is going to make it easy for you to go to sleep at night. We'd hear stories of people committing suicide, just basically not wanting to live anymore because they sold themselves for a million dollars. That, to me, is the part that's like... I don't get it. I know that you're kind of dismissing the human element and you're more focusing on the technical element. To me, that is the, the, the biggest story here is how would you possibly keep a secret and live with yourself if you were one of those just, perpetrators? Just so you know, just so, you know just, just so I make myself very clear, I, I don't at all want to get to a point where people think I'm 100% either. I'm not. I'm not. All I'm doing is speculating. Well, that is all I'm doing, and, and I'm totally cool with <clears throat> yeah. someone saying I'm not 100, yeah. percent and he's 100. Yeah, yeah. A jury. That's does my not, problem. Okay, but a jury does not speculate. They look at evidence, and our 60 exhibits of the evidence has been given to the U.S. attorney in in Manhattan to be given to a special grand jury, and the Lawyers Committee for 9/11 Inquiry has 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 done this work. And we're making a film, 9-11 Crime Scene to Courtroom, to be introduced as a supplement. Uh, And that film, along with those 60 exhibits of evidence, uh, are evidence. Now, put yourself in the place of the grand jurors who were asked by the uh, prosecuting uh, attorney to 
to evaluate and, and issue indictments if you, can, if you can. Based on what? Speculation or evidence. They're going to do it based on evidence. They're going to appreciate your speculation. They're going to have some of their own. But it's the evidence which we should be spending the last half hour talking about, not speculation. That's what's on the table here. That's what's going to convince a, a grand jury to indict people at top levels of government who uh, planned and executed an, an industry, who planned and executed uh, the murder of 3,000 people. We've got to get to the bottom, not just 3,000, but 2 million in Afghanistan and Iraq. Th this started a $6.5 yeah. trillion dollar global yep. war on terror. We've got to mm -hmm. get to the bottom of it. Our civil liberties have been stripped with the Patriot Act, the Military Commissions Act, the National Defense Authorization Act of 2012. We can be arrested without a right to a lawyer, a trial, a jury. We can be assassinated. We can, uh, th that's legal mm -hmm. now, tortured. Uh, so uh, there's lots of reasons uh, compelling us to look deeper at this evidence instead of trying to dismiss it. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.